Hi everyone! This is a very short update, a bit outside the usual schedule in which I release new videos. It's more of a supplement to previous videos related to visual shaders. As you may remember, back then I complained a bit that one function of the visual editor wasn't doing what it should, or more precisely, it was crashing Godot every time. Uh, now, this is button Arrange Nodes. It's supposed to do something, but last time I clicked this button, Godot crashed, so I prefer avoiding that. So, I was pleased this afternoon when the fourth beta version of Godot 4.2 was released, because in the changelog there was a message that the bug causing this crash had been finally fixed. I couldn't resist checking it out for myself as soon as possible. Let's take a look at it together. We'll open the freshly downloaded Godot 4.2 Beta 4, uh, into which I already imported a project where I've created my most complex visual shader graph so far. Yes, it is... Uh, wait a minute, need to upgrade something. Okay. Yes, it's the waving flag on which I demonstrated the vertex manipulations. So I click here and here to maximize the space for the graph. And of course, we need to switch to vertex first. Okay, now for the first time, I'll use the automatically arrange selected nodes function. Let's do it now. Great, nothing collapsed or crashed and the graph looks nicely organized. As we can see, all the inputs uh, have been moved to the left, which is where I usually place them. However, in this graph, I've placed some of the, um, them upward and at least one downward, so it seems to be correctly arranged now. Following are the individual functions, which, it seems, follow the correct order. The first row modifies the x-coordinate of the vertex, the second row the y-coordinate. Finally, all the rows converge on the far right resulting in what we expected. The vertex has been transformed and the flag is waving nicely. I hope this news has pleased you as much as it did me. And if you don't like working with beta versions, you can simply wait for the final release of Godot 4.2, in which this bug will be included. Ah, this bug fix, of course. I wish you a wonderful day and lots of success in creating shaders.